Hi friends, welcome back to Know Your Role, and today we're talking about Berserker. It sounds like a class that should be in the guts, but you shouldn't always be in the guts. I'll tell you how to do it. Let's check it out. Most important about Berserker is that this class is extremely cooldown dependent. Now, if you are looking at playing Berserker because you want to be slamming away in a fight, this class is actually more of a hit and run class than you would imagine. They're not the primary engage, unless, of course, they are the only engagement on their team, but generally, in the perfect scenario, they are a counter engage. They are a secondary engage. They want to follow up with their team because they have slower skills that hit a wider range. Something like a blade can easily engage from a safe distance and get out with their low cooldown. You don't have that luxury as a Berserker. You do boatloads of damage with Finish Strike when you do get in. You, you can peel well with Sword Storm. You can move about the battlefield pretty quickly with something like Shoulder Charge or Wind Blade. But like I said, your cooldowns are so long that it's very difficult to be highly effective at all times. You have a very, very good burst window, and with your identity, you can absolutely crush people. One thing that I see a lot of Berserkers don't know is that when you charge up your identity or activate your identity, you do a knockback, and it's massive because you're also tier two immune during that knockback on the opponent. You can use that to force an advantage where your opponent didn't think you had one. Let's quickly talk about how this is a combo-oriented character. Now, you get great stuns, you have decent peels, you have a couple knockups here and there, but in a general sense, once it all flows together, that's where you're doing your prime damage. You have some really, like I said, and I'm gonna say it again, long cooldowns and low defense. And while you have the mobility, you can't just sit there and bang away. So make sure you're keeping mindful of your cooldowns. Make sure you have a team that is also keeping mindful of your cooldowns. Let them know that if you can't go in, throw up a danger ping, be backwards, because you throwing two bodies into a fight doesn't help, right? Two people dead, you're doing zero damage. One person dead, I mean, that's kind of their fault. So now I do want to clarify something pretty big when it comes to a class like Berserker. When it comes to team composition, if you have something like a bard and a ranged on your team, you are in a prime position to do some crazy damage. Berserker with the right team comp is absolutely monstrous, and it's one of the most dangerous classes in the game because there's really no counterplay in certain situations. Their engagements can be very fast, their counter engagements can be even faster, given something like a blade on your team that increases your attack speed. Berserkers can get absolutely insane and shut your team down very quickly, and then you're rezzing while they're waiting on their cooldowns to do it all over again. Like I keep saying in this video, a patient berserker is the most dangerous berserker. And it sounds kind of counterintuitive because, you know, the class is called berserker. But using your brain here is gonna get you a lot further than just swinging away in a fight. One thing I also wanna to touch on positioning wise, like I said, you wanna be the counter engage, you wanna be the secondary engage but you can also fill that role of being a primary engage. If need be, you can get picks, you can isolate targets very easily, and you have a decent amount of super armor. So, ideally, yes, like I said, secondary engage, but just play it by ear. See what your team comp has. If you're playing with two ranged characters, chances are you're gonna have to be super patient until something happens where someone gets a pick, someone gets a knockdown, and then you go for the engage. And friends, let's touch on the Awakening real quick. With the Berserker, you have a lot of options to use it in the later portion of the game for extra damage, but generally you want to use it within the first couple combos you get on a target so that you get your identity almost immediately and maintain high damage and high pressure so you can get another identity later in the game. There is a 30 second time frame for when you're able to gain more gauge on your identity, but putting your opponents on the back foot early can get that morale boost for your team. Like, damn, my Berserker is popping off right now. He's already at 300K damage. We're one minute into this game and we just wiped their team. Let's keep it going. Let's keep up the pressure and give your team that freedom, that sense of like, hey, we're in control now. Let's play this and close it out. 
thank you guys so much for checking out this video make sure you like comment subscribe we had footage here from odovan one of my friends make sure you follow him on twitch twitch.tv slash odovan please check him out dude's a monstrous blade plays berserker as well and uh we really appreciate all the support guys thank you so much we'll see you in the next one